Um, I should come. I should come. I should. War is inevitable. One must destroy. I'm actually excited for in this. In order to create. We are no Jedi. Oh, there he said. I started hearing whispers of Thrawn's return as heir to the Empire. Looks really what happens good. when we find Thrawn? Power, such as you've never dreamed. I've spent most of my life fighting a war. That's why I'm trying to convince you to help me prevent another one. You and I both know. So many women on screen, right? She's still just as stubborn as ever. The hair. The your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him, just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. Master. As a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. No, not the hair! Is she, nice she, she became a Mandalorian? Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Buckle up. If we don't stop thrawing, everything will be in vain. It's like a lizard. You have no power. Anakin spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. Ooh! We have a lot of work to do. Is Anakin going to be in this? My God, that looked so good, so good. I mean, like we had so many uh, Star Wars series from Disney Plus, and I have to admit, I wasn't precisely like really pleased with the outcome of a lot of those. Mandalorian is the best, in my opinion. It was and still is for a Star Wars series on Disney Plus. The others are all mid and I was disappointed. I, I was sad that none of them are like so epic and so cool, even though they have the resources, they have everything, you know, it just they need they need the right thing. I don't know. And I feel like this is it. All right. I feel like this is it. Um, for me, Star Wars was a lot about character development and storytelling uh, as much as it is action, like it has everything. All right. Uh, and I have a feeling that they missed in a lot of those series because they paid a lot of attention in some of them on storytelling and in others on a lot of actions. And I feel like they missed because it, when they made the storytelling, it was with characters that were bland and not important and it was boring. But when they had the character development and really awesome characters, they just gave them so much action, unnecessary, like, just action. And then it just missed the point. You know what I feel like? I don't know. I This one would be maybe the best balance of both because I see a really cool story, a really cool telling, and also I see good action as well and good characters. The only thing I though I have noticed a lot is there's so many female characters that are portrayed as protagonist and a lot of male characters that are portrayed as antagonist. And I don't know if this is a woke movement or whatever, but it is an As Asuka and uh, she is female and it is like the main character is female so maybe there is female empowerment here and there i have nothing against girl power but i also don't like the exclusion so i hope um we're gonna see it all and it's gonna be fine i don't i hope it's not gonna be like in our face you know so yeah we'll see mm -hmm.